Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with James. This is episode 11 of my hand tied jig series, and today I'm going to be showing you how to tie a Christmas themed crappie jig. So for this jig, I'll be using a 1 16th ounce pill head jig head with a number four sickle hook. I've gone ahead and painted it with Disco Silver Pro Tech powder paint and put some green eyes on the side. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some super glue down the hook about even with the point of the hook. Now I'm just going to take my thread and wrap it down even with the point of the hook as well. The thread I'll be using today is Danville's 210 denier flat wax nylon. So after I get the thread down, I like to take a small piece of paper towel and dab up any extra super glue that might be left over. This is so just in case I have to move the feather around it doesn't stick to the hook at all. We don't need the tag into the thread so I'm just going to cut that off. So to really fit with the Christmas theme of this jig I'm going to be using a red marabou feather for the tail. So for sizing I like to keep the feather about the length of the hook and once I have it there I'm just going to take my thread and tie it into the hook and once I've made sure that's the right size I'm going to take my thread and wrap it all the way up to the head of the jig just like that. Once I've got my thread to the head of the jig, I'm going to take my scissors and cut off the excess feather. And I'm going to take my thread and do a little bit more wrapping just to make sure that this feather is tied in all the way. Next for the flash, I'm going to be using this red crystal flash for this jig. So I'm going to take a full strand and cut it in half. And then I'm going to take that half strand and cut it in half again. So that whenever I stack the two together, I can have two pieces of flash on either side of the jig. And it should look something like this. Now I'm just going to line the two up on each side and hold them to the hook with my fingers so that they don't move. And once I have them lined up, I'm going to take my thread and wrap all the way down even with where I've tied everything else. And this thread will sometimes pull the flash down, so you have to be mindful of that. Once I've got the flash even, I'm going to take my scissors and cut it just past the end of the tail. And now the jig should look something like this. Now to really tie this jig together, I'm going to use some custom Christmas tree chenille. This green and red is going to look really nice together once I tie it in. So I'm going to start out by wrapping the chenille all the way down even with where I've wrapped everything else. I turn the jig sideways here so I can tie it exactly to where I need to, just like that. I'm going to take the thread and tie it all the way back up to the head and set it off to the side. Now I'm going to use the rotary function on my vise to slowly spin the chenille up to the head of the jig. So sometimes you're going to have to reset just like I did there. You just want a nice uniform look to this jig and if you have to go back, it's no big deal. Once the chenille's even, I'm going to take my thread and go underneath the chenille, over it, under it again, over it, under it, and then just over it a few more times to tie it into the jig. Now I'm just going to take my scissors and cut the tag into the chenille off and make sure to get any more fuzzy bits out that want to stay behind. So now I'm just going to do a double whip finish. So I'm going to take my whip finishing tool and do four or five wraps for this first time. And then pull it tight, just like that. And then I'm going to do it again another four or five times. And then pull it tight, just like that. Now I'm just going to take my scissors and cut the thread. And there you have it, a Christmas themed crappie jig. So now all that's left to do is to bag these jigs up, put a sticker on the bag. And now these things are ready to get out and catch some crappie. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And with that said, I will see you all in the next episode of Hand Tied Jigs.